I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Cisco's WCS and walk through some of the steps outlined in the Cisco Wireless Clean Air Deployment Guide to show you how to enable clean air reporting and identification of sources of interference on your Cisco wireless infrastructure. This of course assumes that you meet the following criteria, that you have Cisco 3500 series access points deployed, that you have 7.0 code on your controllers and on your Cisco WCS server. So the first step is going to be under configure controller template launchpad. From there we're going to navigate down to the 802.11a and we'll also do the same steps for BG but for A under clean air we are going to create a new template and we can call it 802.11a clean air. We're going to enable clean air we're going to enable reporting on sources of interference and you see this list of devices here that you have to choose from. You can choose all, some, just a few or what have you of the list of devices that you want to report on. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to turn on air quality alarms. Um, the air quality alarm threshold is at the level at which the access point will sense interference and begin to do the dynamic channel assignment uh, algorithm kickoff so that it can determine what channel it should choose to, to change to to avoid the source of interference. I'm going to change this to say 35. Um, I'm going to enable interference for security alarm. Um, I will say I want to ignore things like WiMAX fixed and mobile. So I want to ignore those as sources of security alarms but everything else uh, I want to know about. So I'm going to click save. I'm going to apply to controllers. I'm going to select my one controller because it's just a lab implementation. This isn't uh, an active deployment. Uh, okay, I'm going to repeat the same steps for clean, in, clean air under ABG. I'm going to set up a new template and say we'll call this one. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to enable the same thing, um, except we have a whole bunch of different devices here that affect the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Uh, these are a lot, of, a lot of different things listed here that can affect your BG wireless infrastructure. Uh, you've got frequency hopping devices, Bluetooth discovery device uh, transmissions, continuous transmitters that could be wireless security cameras that don't necessarily fit the video camera fingerprint of their RF outline. Uh, Xbox devices can interfere with your 2.4 gigahertz infrastructure. I'm going to select all of those for reporting. I'm going to enable the air quality alarm and I'm going to set the threshold again at 35. And I will say that I don't want to know about, say, uh, these two. Wait, actually I have that backwards. Let me throw these over here and let me select all of these. And let me send these two back. Let me click save, apply to controllers, select the controller, okay. Okay. At this point we're going to enable event-driven radio resource management. So we're, we're still in the configure controller template launch pad, but we're going to navigate to the 802.11a, ANRRM, and we're going to go under the DCA, dynamic channel assignment, and we're going to add a template I'm going to name it event driven 802.11a. We're going to change the sensitivity threshold to medium. We're going to enable the event driven RRM. We're going to say save. Apply to controllers. Select our controller. Click OK. We have success. And we're going to go through the same steps for BG under the RRM DCA add template either to 11 B G and we're going to enable event driven RM we're going to set it to medium we're going to apply to controllers select the controller click OK and then at this point I'm going to navigate back to the home page for WCS and 
This main tab just shows you your general overview, how many controllers you have, how many MSCs, your client count, but the Clean Air tab shows you some different information about the type of sources of RF interference that are in your infrastructure. Um, you can see that the air quality index rating is in the upper left hand corner for AN. The air quality for BGN is shown here. And you can see that we've got some stuff going on because our air quality is right around 69 percent, or 69, rather than a value of 100. It should be perfect clean, clean air. Um, you can see our, our minimum air quality shows that there's some major stuff going on. Uh, we've got cordless phones that are showing up as sources of interference. Uh, and if I go into the map for this location, I can see the sources of interference displayed on the map. And here we can see our map in WCS where we can see our actual devices being displayed on the floor plan. You can mouse over each device, click on it, and get some additional information about that source of interference. You can see we've got some cordless phones, uh, we've got some continuous transmitters, um, I have a Bluetooth device that's doing a Bluetooth Discover. When we click on the, the decked cordless phone, we can see the detecting APs. Um, it will tell you some information here in the upper right hand corner about this type of cordless phone. It will show you the severity of the phone interference, uh, how much of the duty cycle it's using, and it will also tell you where it's located in the, in the uh, the building hierarchy. In order to get location tracking of sources of interference you need to go into your mobility services engine and enable uh, alerting on or actually enable tracking excuse me under context aware service under tracking parameters you have to enable tracking for sources of interference um, and you have to enable history logging for sources of interference. So that's just a quick overview of WCS Clean Air and how you would turn it on if you have all of the parameters necessary, all of the devices necessary to do Clean Air.